parents, guardians, and students. As we head into the new school year, I'm sure that many parents, children, youth, teachers, and school staff are excited about getting back to learning. I want to start by thanking you for working together to ensure that the safety of our schools and our community is there. You have done some great hard work. There are so many positive benefits to the overall health and well-being for children and youth as we return to in-person learning. With the many protections in place in our communities and schools, we can have confidence about a return to in-person learning. With the support of the COVID-19 vaccine and other public health measures, the community's done a great job keeping the rates of COVID-19 low, and this will help our schools as well. As we return to school, it is important to please continue to screen your children for symptoms each day and to avoid bringing COVID-19 into the schools when symptomatic. Screening and testing are very important measures. They help control the spread of COVID-19. So even if you or your child is fully vaccinated, you must continue with the daily screening and then testing if you or your child have one or more COVID-19 symptoms. The Ottawa Public Health electronic screening tool is available online on our Supporting Schools and COVID website. Parents, staff, and students should be screening for symptoms each day, even when fully vaccinated. I'm also very mindful that many of us have struggled this last year with mental health a lack of social connection, and changes in our routines. So Ottawa Public Health will continue to support families and schools to protect and promote mental health. This goes for those taking part in person in learning and those who are continuing with virtual learning. Our school health nurses will be present in schools and virtually to help identify when people need more help and to promote referrals to the right supports. Again this year, we have added protection from COVID-19 vaccines. I encourage everyone who is eligible to get their COVID-19 vaccines. New eligibility was announced on August 11th for 11-year-olds born in 2009. And there's still plenty of vaccine available, and we've been working to make getting your vaccine as easy as possible. You can walk into any community clinic now. And the addresses are available on our website. Being vaccinated gives you a significantly lower risk of getting COVID-19 and of having severe illness and being hospitalized. The higher the vaccination rates are in our community, the better protected students and school staff will be. Higher vaccination rates also help to protect children and others who may not be able to be vaccinated. Other benefits from vaccination are that if your child tests positive and you are fully vaccinated, you can continue to work rather than self-isolate. Also, if someone tests positive in the school classroom and your child is fully vaccinated, your child can continue to attend school rather than self-isolate. We know that not everyone has had an opportunity to access COVID-19 vaccination. Some families face barriers due to no time off work, no sick leave, no transportation or childcare, a lack of computer access, language, or a history of poor experiences with the health system. So Ottawa Public Health is working to ensure that these types of barriers are addressed with neighborhood vaccination hubs, door-to-door -door work, as well as mobile clinic options in schools if needed. We have information on our website about how to discuss vaccination in a caring, non-judgmental way with people who might not yet be vaccinated. We've been receiving many questions from parents and students, and I would like to address some of them here in this video. One of the most common questions is about what is different this year compared to last year? Well, many things are not changing this school year because they're measures that work and that were important in keeping schools as safe as possible. So Ottawa Public Health is promoting a cautious approach to starting school and will evaluate what measures are required throughout the fall. While vaccines add an extra layer of protection, which is different, Public health measures will continue to be important even as our vaccination rates increase. We have students in schools under the age of 11 or 12 who are not yet eligible for vaccination, and so providing them with a safer environment is key. We must continue with regular hand washing, physical distancing, screening, isolating, and testing, and wearing masks. These will continue to be important as our children and youth are going to be in contact with a larger number of students this school year. And if there is a student or staff who's identified as testing positive for COVID in your child's school, Ottawa Public Health will continue to send a general notification to the school community 
and an automated message to those identified as high-risk contacts. Please review these Ottawa Public Health messages carefully if you receive them and follow the instructions provided. Students in grades 1 to 12 will be required to wear masks when taking school transportation to and from school, in hallways, in classrooms, and we strongly encourage kindergarten students to also wear masks. We have seen that many kindergartners can learn this skill. Physical distancing outside is still helpful and wearing a mask may be useful when physical distancing is not possible, especially as more groups of children could be sharing the schoolyard. Another difference this year is that we're phasing in take home testing for members of the school community who develop symptoms that could be COVID to help with access to testing right away. Laboratories in Ottawa have more capacity to process COVID-19 tests than they did last year. And the results are usually available in less than one to two days. So what does this school year mean for staff and students who are vaccinated? And how can we continue to protect those who may be unable to get the vaccine, such as our younger students? We know COVID-19 vaccines are safe and are very effective at protecting children and adults 11 or 12 years and older from serious illness due to COVID. And I'm impressed with the uptake of vaccines in our community. We continue to see those numbers rise. We're working to see Ottawa reach 90% fully vaccinated across the city. And this goal is within reach. Besides the benefits of protection against serious illness, let me describe in more detail how vaccination may also make things a little easier for families. There have been changes to the self-isolation requirements for those who are fully vaccinated. You may consider yourself fully vaccinated when it has been 14 days after receiving your second dose of an accepted two-dose COVID-19 vaccine or a combination of accepted vaccines such as Moderna, Pfizer-BioNTech, AstraZeneca, Covishield, or your only dose of the single-dose COVID-19 vaccine series of Janssen, or a complete COVID-19 vaccine series that is listed for emergency use by the World Health Organization. In general, those who are fully vaccinated will not be required to self-isolate after an exposure to COVID-19 as long as they do not have any symptoms. They will also not be required to self-isolate while waiting for the test results of household contacts who have symptoms. After an exposure, testing and self-monitoring of symptoms for 10 days is recommended. The self-isolation period for those who have had contact with an individual who tested positive for COVID-19 is now 10 days following their last contact with the individual. Testing will be recommended on certain dates. For more information on the process for COVID-19 cases in schools, outbreaks, and more, please check out our Supporting Schools webpage at ottawapublichealth.ca backslash schools COVID-19. Ottawa Public Health will continue to monitor the situation in schools and evaluate and share new information as it becomes available. We'll communicate COVID-19 updates to you in a number of ways, such as through our website, through social media, messages through the school boards, and notices home. I'm looking forward to this school year and I'm excited for our children and youth to be learning in person again. Steady as she goes, Ottawa. Let's all continue to do our part to keep building community immunity. Thank you. Merci.